Well, hello there. I sit here before you to read the 14 rules of chemistry one. Here goes. Number one, conduct yourself in a responsible manner at all times. This means that horseplay, throwing items, and pranks are prohibited. This also means that you must read lab instructions ahead of time and follow all verbal and written directions explicitly and carefully. Two, do not eat food, drink beverages, or chew gum in the laboratory. Do not use laboratory glassware as containers for food or drink. Number three, never work in the laboratory unless the instructor is present. Do not enter the chemical stock room. Number four, never perform unauthorized experiments. This includes activities such as mixing waste liquids and solids, placing objects in the flame of the Bunsen burner, or playing with the high flow water faucets. Personal safety. Number five, you must wear approved eye protection at all times in the laboratory, unless the instructor specifically states an experiment does not Shut require, up. in general, any experiment involving heat or the use of chemicals other than water, will require eye protection. Ordinary prescription eyeglasses do not provide protection from splashes and impact, and thus are not considered safety glasses. Students who wear contact lenses should notify an instructor ahead of time in case a given lab activity uses volatile compound, organic compounds that might irritate covered eyes. Report any accident or injury to the instructor at once, no matter how trivial it may seem. You must go to the nurse for treatment of cuts, burns, accidental ingestion of chemicals, or inhalation of fumes. Number seven, dress appropriately for lab work. This means that you should tie back long hair, avoid loose or baggy clothing, and dangling jewelry on lab days. Sandals or open-toed shoes are not permitted in the laboratory. Lab aprons and protective gloves will be provided for you when this protection is deemed prudent. Number eight, know where safety equipment is located and how to use it. These include fire extinguishers, fire blankets, eye wash stations, safety shower, fume hoods, shop containers, and first aid kits. Chemical and equipment safety. Number nine, avoid inhaling fumes that may produce during the experiment. When instructed, use the wafting technique to detect odors. Certain procedures will need you to be performed only under the fume hood. Number 10. If any glassware is or becomes broken, notify the instructor and dispose of the glass in sharp container. Should a fire drill occur during an experiment, shut off all experiment and leave the room as directed by the fire exit sign. We need to stay together as a group and the teacher is required to take attendance once outside. Number 12. Keep combustible material away from open flames. Smother flames with a fire blanket or your neighbor's coat. Number 13. Immediately report any chemical spills or splashes to your instructor. Spilled chemicals, whatever they are, must be cleaned up immediately and completely. If you spill any chemical on yourself, wash it off immediately with plenty of water and report spill to the teacher. If chemicals enter your eyes, continue to rinse at the eye wash station for at least 15 minutes or until the nurse arrives, whichever comes second. Never remove chemicals or equipment from the laboratory. Replace the top on a region bottle as soon as you have finished with it. Never pour unused chemicals back into the original container. Upon Once removed from a stock bottle, the chemical is considered contaminated, so be careful not to pour out more chemical than you need. Good housekeeping and cleanup. Number 16. Bring only your lab procedure, lab notebook, and calculator, and a writing implement to the lab bench with you. All other materials need to be stored under the lab bench or along the edges of the room. Number 17. Sinks are to be used only for the disposal of water and those solutions designated by the instructor. In general, liquid and solid waste should be disposed of in a labeled container under the fume hood. Number 18. Work areas should be neat and tidy throughout the lab. Never sit on lab benches. Return equipment to their appropriate locations at the end of the lab. Bench tops should be wiped with a wet paper towel at the end of the lab period. 19. The last thing that you must do at the end of the laboratory is wash your...